All right, example 32. Using the data summarized below to determine the probability that a randomly selected subject has managed to graduate from a most selective school. So in this problem, we're basically being asked to calculate a probability. And it's a probability that a randomly selected subject, right? So let's pause there before we read the rest of it. A randomly selected subject is indicating just one subject will be selected. There's just one event reaching into the population of people who are in this group and drawing one person out of it. And they're looking for the probability that that person would manage to graduate from a most selective school. So the fact that you're only taking one item indicates basic probability. Absent any other keywords, that's the approach we'll use. Now, of course, we haven't learned the other types of keywords that could be present that would indicate another method of probability because we've only begun to learn probability and we're only in basic probability at the moment. So for now, you just have to take me at my word that this problem is basic probability. And one of the key phrases that indicates that is just that it's one randomly selected subject who's being selected from the group or asking a question about that one subject, namely, did that person graduate from a most selective school? So let's write out a statement then, like we always do for probability. The probability of what they're asking for, they're asking for graduates from most selective schools. So we're looking for the probability that this person selected, graduated, right, from a most selective school. All right, so that's what we're looking for. The probability that the person graduated from a most selective school. The next step in the process is to create a fraction. And that fraction will be set up as number of over total. So every basic probability problem will always be number of over total. Now for us, the number of in this case is the number of whatever we have here. So number of graduates from most selective schools. Number of grads from, I'm going to abbreviate this MSS, right? Most selective schools. Just so I don't have to write out that whole statement. So you know what we're saying, the number of grads from most selective schools over the total number of students in the study, right? All right, total number of students involved in the study. All right, so let's work that out then. We need to figure out how many total number of grads there are from most selective schools in the problem. Well, let's see where that information would be. There's a most selective school column here, right? And then there's a total, but be careful because there's these white and shaded regions of the column. We have to be careful to understand what those mean. Over here, there's a column that says graduated and it says yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. The white spaces are the yeses and the shaded spaces are the noes. So only the people who are in the white or the numbers that are in the white spaces represent graduates. So those are the numbers that have to go on top here. So the number of grads is gonna be 5,131, which is basically the white students who graduated from most selective schools. Then black students, 461 graduated from most selective schools, 429 Hispanic students, and 323 Asian students. Okay, so there's our numerator. And for the denominator, we just need the total number of students in the study. The grand total is 32,190, so quite a big study. All right, let's add these up and see what it comes up to. So we'll have 5,131 plus 461 plus 429 plus 323. Then we will divide that number, which is 6,344, 6,344 by the total 32,190. Let's see what that gives us approximately. So divide by 32190, and it gives us the answer of approximately 0 0.197. So basically that's the same as 19.7%. So about 19.7% of the students in this study actually attended and graduated a most selective school. Okay, so last thing I want to say about the problem is that you may have thought we should use a different total. Like you know, maybe you would think, well, why don't we use the total from the most selective school category? Well, that would give us the percent of students who graduated from most selective schools, right? out of the people who attended most selective schools. That's not what the problem asked us though, right? They just said in this entire study, generically, what percent 
graduated the most selected schools. And so that's the number, 19.7%. If they wanted to narrow the total to just the people attending most selected schools, they would have had to state that very clearly in the problem, and they haven't done that. So make sure that absent any clear directions, you choose you know, the grand total for the total. If they give you something more specific, which indicates you should limit the total to some other group only, then you would choose a different denominator. So you have to be very careful there not to try to overthink the problem, just perform what they asked. And lastly, the thing I want to say about the problem is, you know, what is this problem about? You know, well, here's just a probability problem, but you might wonder why they looked at this set of data in the first place. What they're trying to assess here is whether affirmative action programs um, put students in a situation where they're unable to um, do the work that's required of them at a more difficult school. You know, because the whole you know, argument against affirmative action is that students who are less qualified get in based on other factors and because they have lower test scores and they're therefore perhaps maybe academically less qualified than somebody else, you know, that they won't do as well and you'll put them in a situation they can't handle and they'll not graduate anyways in the end. Well, it turns out the data doesn't show that. It looks like the, the actual effect here in the data shows that Anyone, whether you're white, black, Hispanic, or Asian, anyone who attends a most selective school has a higher likelihood of being a graduate than from these other schools. So actually a non-selective school has the um, smallest percentage of graduates compared to attendees. So in other words, they have lower graduation rates than the most selective schools. So it looks like if you put someone in a most selective school, it actually improves their chance of graduating on time or graduating all at all. So that's actually very interesting. and. Uh, you know, regardless of what you feel about the affirmative action issue, you have to look at the data and accept what the outcomes are stating. So at least from this study, it shows that um, students attending most selective schools actually are more likely to graduate regardless of their race. So it's very interesting.